In this video, what we're going to be doing is pretty much setting up an animation notify. And I want to show just how kind of useful they can be and a very good example of the time to use it. So for example, I'm going to use it for drawing just a pistol from a holster. So if I go over here to simulate, this is what I currently have. As you can see, we have the pistol and the holster and the drawing animation playing that I've made over here in Blender. But we have the pistol itself is not attaching to the hand. Now, I'm going to turn right just so YouTube hopefully doesn't get me for nudity. <laughs> but we should be, we could do this in code, but that would be really quite difficult to time, as well as we would have probably different animations and stuff like that. That would require, you know, different delays between when we attach it to the hand and all that kind of stuff, and we would have to fine tune it. And that would be for just about each, you know, drawing animation we had. So instead, we could use notifies. So to give you an example of the setup, on begin play here, we have just two meshes that are static, holster mesh and pistol mesh. The holster gets attached to our character, this guy here, on a socket called holster. Now that socket is just simply attached to the hip. All it is is a simple bone. Then we have our pistol mesh that gets attached to our holster at a spot called S underscore pistol because it's a socket. So I have my holster here and here's my socket. As you can see, I just aligned it so the pistol fits in there. Roughly as close as I can get it to how it fit in Blender. Again, this is just for a tutorial. And I would probably end up actually setting some sort of bone on the holster for it to attach to instead. So that would be, you know, exactly a one-to-one -one match. Then the character, there's nothing special about it, but the animation blueprint, all it is is the state. Just has a state machine. The state just constantly plays the draw animation, just for the example. In the event graph, the only thing I'm doing is I have one variable that's just a simple pointer to our character. So it's just, that's literally all it is. So now to set up the notify. So it actually grabs the pistol and attaches it to the hand. So if we look here on our hand, we have a bone called weapon grip, and I've already attached the pistol to it for the example. And what we want to do is about, you know, a certain point in this animation here, as you can see, I'm a little bit off with how I had everything set up, but just at some point in here, we want to attach it to the hand. And then from there, somewhere towards the end, we want to simply detach it. So we're just going to have two, um, two animation notifies. So what we're going to do is, where we have notifies right here, the one, we're just simply going to right click, add notify, new notify, call it unholster pistol. And then if we come over here to our animation blueprint, we right click and search for unholster. We have an AM notify unholster pistol. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab our character and search for get pistol mesh, which is a function that I made. And all it does is simply return this pistol mesh, so it's just a static mesh. And from there, we're going to attach to component. The component we want to attach it to is our character. So on our character, we search for get mesh and attach it to the parent. And for these, uh, the socket name, it is weapon grip. So the bone we have on our hand dedicated to weapons. So weapon grip. Compile and save. So now let's look at it. As you can see, it actually attached it to the hand and it's staying attached. So what we're going to do is create another one, right click, add notify, call it detach pistol, same exact thing over here, search for detach pistol, I'm going to copy this entire setup, get rid of our attached to component, and on our get pistol mesh I'm going to just simply detach from component. And I'm going to, I don't have a reference to the holster, I don't think. 
I do not. So what I'm going to do is just leave this for now, and we're going to simply test it. So I'll play it. Okay. So now we need to adjust where and when stuff happens. So right about here, where we start to unholster the pistol. Whoops. Right there. And just, I guess, near the end of the animation, we're just going to detach it. So now let's look. As you can see, right there, it's only on the initial one. But we go through, pistol gets attached to the hand, and it keeps playing the animation. I'm Pressing that as fast as I possibly can. As you can see, it just attaches properly. Then we can take it a small step farther, and I'm just going to create a getter function for the holster. I have get pistol mesh, I'm just going to do the same for uh, get holster mesh, and just make a return holster mesh. And we're going to reattach it to our uh, holster based on this animation notifier running. So I'm going to go ahead and close all of this except for those two. So our animation and our animation blueprint. Wait for uh, Visual Studio to finish compiling. Relaunch. And we will set that up. Alrighty, so let's reopen those assets. We're going to drag off our, I'm going to grab the character again, search for git Do not have a holster? Uh, apparently I didn't type it right. Got a G holster mesh. But this is supposed to be get holster mesh. So we're going to get pistol mesh. We're going to attach component to component. Plug the return value so the holster into the parent. And just simply search for s underscore pistol, which is my socket. We're going to do snap to target, like so. Compile save, and now let's watch it. As you can see, it plays the animation using the animation notifiers to attach the pistol to the hand right when we want it to. And then from there, we simply detach the pistol from the hand and attach it right back to our holster so the animation replays. So this will allow us to play just very fluid animations at very specific points in time. So I figured this would be useful for some, and this will also work in things like animation montages and all of that. And I do that in my Nazi Zombie series to uh, spawn certain things, such as when we shoot, once the bolt reciprocates to the rear or the slide, we will we spawn a Niagara particle effect that is an empty case. So it, you know, ejects the case from the firearm. And same thing with muzzle flashes. We use these animation notifiers for muzzle flashes and that kind of stuff. So notifiers are very, very useful. And if you're not really using them and you're trying to do it by code, I highly suggest you try to at least learn and make use of them. So, as always, I hope this was helpful to some of you. And, yeah, if you enjoy my content, a link to my Patreon is in the description. You can help support me. And if you have any questions, a link to my Discord server is also available in the description. So, as usual, I will see you in the next tutorial.